So what's going on guys, it's JMXB Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated. If you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So, Abel Sanchez, the promoter of Gennady Golovkin, says that his fighter will wear Canelo Alvarez down by the 8th or 9th round when the two meet on September the 16th. In the unification middleweight title fight, obviously Gennady Golovkin is putting up all three of his titles against Canelo Alvarez. And this is probably one of the biggest fights of 2017 so far. To quote Angel Sanchez here, he says, I think that early on the speed of Canelo and the combination punching that he does, but while he's punching those combinations, he's going to get caught in between. Both guys are going to hit each other, that's a given. I think in between those punches that Canelo's throwing eventually by the third or fourth round he'll be getting caught in the middle of those and getting hurt I think when Canelo hits Golovkin and he can't hurt him it we're a totally different mindset for the corner we as trainers are going to have to put our P's and Q's and make sure that we have the answer for whatever the other side is doing I think eventually past the 8th or ninth round Golovkin will have worn him down enough to either stop him or win the last few rounds and a decision so basically um, Abel Sanchez is saying that Gennady Golovkin Will, will have beaten the fight out of Canelo Alvarez by the 8th or ninth round and Canelo will either be stopped in the rounds after that or he'll be surviving I don't know how this fight is going to go down like this fight could go down a numerous amount of ways like it could just be a KG boxing match both guys respecting each other are not really doing much but I don't think the two fighters will want to fight this kind of fight like this because I think these two know that this is a massive fight that this fight is one of the biggest fights in boxing so i think these two are going to try and put on a great fight for the fans because canelo alvarez does like to put on good fights for his fans we've seen it before like in his last fight against julio cesar chavez jr even though he was beating down chavez jr in a one-sided affair i think he could hear the booze from the fans so he was even giving chavez jr a chance to come at him, he was on the rope saying basically, come on, do something. Let's make it a fight. And Gennady Golovkin is the same kind of way. Gennady Golovkin wants a fight. Like he always says, he wants Brig Drama show. He wants street fight. He wants to fight his opponent in an explosive kind of way. He wants a fantastic fight. And I think with that combination mixed together, I think this could be a great fight. And in terms of Golovkin wearing Canelo down over eight or nine rounds... It all depends if Gennady Golovkin can hurt Canelo because we don't know how each fighter will react to each other's power because Canelo Alvarez's punches power doesn't tickle either but we saw Gennady Golovkin take Danny Jacobs like a few clean shots off Danny Jacobs and Danny Jacobs hits very hard probably harder than Canelo Alvarez but I think Canelo in this fight will be trying to do damage to Gennady Golovkin's body. I think Canelo and his team know that Golovkin's got a very good chin, so I think they'll be trying to hit the body, similar to what they did against Erislandi Lara, but obviously is a different style. Lara's a bit of a mover, and not a bit of a mover, he's a runner in most people's eyes, so Canelo Alvarez was there hitting up the body shots, and that eventually got him the victory against Erislandi Lara because Lara didn't do anything significant in the last six rounds and I know a lot of people are saying oh it's a robbery oh it's a robbery oh I love a beat Canelo Alvarez it's a robbery but I don't think it's a robbery I didn't think that fight was a robbery at all I thought that Canelo won the fight because Laura just didn't do enough in the back end of the fight so yeah and Gennady Golovkin he'll be really need to sticking it on Canelo Alvarez but Canelo Alvarez is very good fighting on the ropes like he's very good fighting off the ropes and stuff like that we saw it in a few of his fights, he can put shots together on the ropes. But Gennady Golovkin, we know he can make the ring look two foot small up in this bitch. Like he can make the ring look very small the way he cuts off his opponent. So that could be a problem for Canelo Alvarez. Can Canelo Alvarez be elusive enough to not get hit by Gennady Golovkin? Because I don't think Canelo Alvarez is the fastest guy on his feet. Like, I think he's got good hand speed, Canelo Alvarez, but he's not the fastest guy in terms of footwork and stuff like that. And 
we saw the way when Gennady Golovkin fought Kell Brook, like, Kell Brook can move quicker than Canelo Alvarez because he's a smaller guy, but Gennady Golovkin's pressure was still managing to affect um, Kell Brook in the fight, so I think if Golovkin puts too much pressure on Canelo, it's going to be interesting to see how Canelo reacts to that, but I think we're going to have a fantastic fight on September the 16th. I can't wait for this fight. Like This is a fight that we've been waiting for ever since the dreadful Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao fight because that fight was just a big flop in terms of excitement to what it was hyped as and boxing has needed a massive fight. We got one last month when Vladimir Klitschko fought Anthony Joshua that will go down as probably one of the best heavyweight fights in the past 30 years so hopefully we're going to see a very good middleweight fight on september the 16th so yeah comment below in the comment section what you guys think about this i'm not going to waffle on for too long do you agree with abel sanchez do you think that the pressure that gennady golovkin puts on canelo alvarez will just be too much for canelo in the later rounds or do you think Canelo will be able to be elusive enough, be able to put the shots together, or, or even make the fight his kind of fight and make it hard for Gennady Golovkin? So what do you guys think? Comment below in the comment section. It is JM, it is speech.